What's up everybody? So today we're gonna change a set of brake shoes on a trailer. We need to take that drum off so we can get to the brakes. So we're gonna crawl under here and we're gonna loosen up those brakes. All right, so once you're under here, that slack adjuster, you'll see that bolt right there. We're gonna put our ratchet on there. And as you can see, I've already loosened these brakes. So the way these work is you have one direction where you can push it quite easily and that is that is the direction that it's going to tighten them but you want to go the direction that pulls the hardest and that is how to loosen them so now we're just going to take off that drum there we go so it's just a simple on and off uh, unfortunately there is no wagon to take these off but as you can see these have gotten pretty thin so we're gonna take our vice grip and we're gonna take those springs off all right so we've got our vice grip and now we're just gonna pull down now that one's out All right, so that's done. Looks like we're gonna have to take a hammer or just a boot. There, that was easy enough. All right, so these need to slide. Well, they do slide, so it doesn't look like we'll be changing those today. All right, so here's our new brakes. Um, the 4515 is what this trainer uses. So we need to take these pieces and they go in there. And then we just take a hammer, just like that. So we've got them laying there and then these springs go on to here like that. So you'll notice there's a small end and a bigger end. So this one goes on the small end. So we're just going to push this one down. You can see that spring is clipped into that hole. And we'll just do the same to this one. All right, and since those other bushings were loose, we will not be using these. So I'm gonna take these springs, I'm gonna put them down here. And then this big one hooks in on each one. So we're gonna hook those together and carry them down. All right, so you can see I've got them hooked in and these rollers need to sit on that S-cam right there and you just got to work them in there. All right, so as you can see, this is not quite lining up the way it's supposed to, the way I'd hoped. So we're going to take our ratchet and we're going to have to screw them just a little bit further. All 
All right, that's where we want it. All right, so now this one has to be worked in there as well. All right, so we've got it sitting on there. And those two are sitting right there. And now we're just gonna put new springs on it. And the same way, the way we took them off, got it hooked in. And now we're just gonna pull it into that hole right there. All right, just like that. All right, and that set of brakes is on. I did notice that the ABS sensor is gone. So while we're at it, let's change that one too. All right, so I've got my ABS sensor here. It is not new. It is used, but we still think it is in good condition. So it needs to come through. Just put it in later. And that just needs to be pushed in all the way. All right, so. We'll just push it in so that it's touching the hub and we're going to put our wire through that hole right there and the plug-in for that is right there we're just going to have to zip tie the rest of all this up all right so the ABS sensor is in I've got all that zip tied so it can't go anywhere. And now it's time for the drum. All right, so the drum is on. It's time to put the tires on. 